I've always been fascinated by stories of human resilience and international cooperation. The Tam Luang Cave rescue is a prime example of both. In June 2018, the world watched with bated breath as a dramatic rescue operation unfolded in Thailand. Twelve young soccer players and their coach, members of the Wild Boars team, found themselves trapped deep within the cave's dark, flooded passages. What started as a simple post-practice excursion quickly turned into a life-threatening situation. On June 23, 2018, coach Ekapol Chantawong and his 12 young players ventured into the Tam Luang cave after soccer practice. Heavy rains flooded the cave's entrance, trapping them inside. The team retreated deeper, finding refuge on a rocky shelf about four kilometers from the entrance. As days passed, an international rescue effort took shape. Thai Navy SEALs, local officials and volunteers worked tirelessly to locate the missing group. On July 2nd, nine days after the team went missing, British divers Richard Stanton and John Volanthan made a breakthrough. Swimming through murky waters and narrow passages, they found all 13 individuals alive. The cave system was a labyrinth with narrow, submerged passages. Some sections were so tight that divers had to remove their air tanks to squeeze through. Oxygen levels where the boys were trapped were dangerously low. The team was weakened, some couldn't swim. It seemed almost impossible. Various options were considered. Drilling from above ruled out. Waiting for the water to recede, too risky. The only viable option was to dive them out. Australian anaesthetist and cave diver, Dr. Richard Harris, was brought in. His expertise was crucial in developing the audacious plan. Each boy would be sedated, fitted with a full-face diving mask and strapped to a rescue diver. It was their best shot. On July 8th, 2018, the rescue operation began. The world watched anxiously as an international team of elite divers embarked on one of the most daring rescue missions in history. Each rescue attempt took about three hours to reach the boys and five hours to bring them back. The divers navigated through passages as narrow as 38 centimeters in zero visibility against strong currents. Four boys on the first day, four more on the next. On the final day, the remaining four boys and their coach were extracted. Over 10,000 people were involved, including over 100 divers, representatives from about 100 governmental agencies, 900 police officers, and 2,000 soldiers. Volunteers from around the world offered everything from engineering expertise to food. It was a race against time, with rescuers working around the clock as monsoon rains threatened their efforts. Against all odds, all 13 were rescued. The Tam Luang Cave Rescue united people from around the world in a common cause. As we look back on the extraordinary events of the Tam Luang Cave Rescue, it's clear that this was more than just a successful mission. It was a powerful reminder of what we can achieve when we come together in the face of adversity. The rescue operation pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible. It required innovation, courage, and an unwavering commitment to saving lives, regardless of the risks. But perhaps most importantly, it showed us the power of hope and human resilience. The trapped boys and their coach never gave up. The rescuers refused to accept failure as an option, and people around the world came together in a remarkable display of support and solidarity. The Tam Luang Cave Rescue will be remembered not just for its technical achievements, but for the way it captured the very essence of the human spirit, our capacity for compassion, our drive to overcome challenges, and our ability to achieve the impossible when we work as well. In a world that can often seem divided, the events in Thailand in the summer of 2018 showed us what we're truly capable of when united by a common purpose.